Hi there, my name's Jennifer and I'm a current PhD student with the University of Birmingham. My research focuses on elite statue biography, particularly the placement of text, but what this can also tell us about the function of statuary and the intended engagement or interaction with the ancient audience. Though many resources enable me to consider these statues at a distance, being able to view and interact with these objects in person will allow me to gain a more comprehensive understanding of their function and use of text. Pictures available through the Karnak Cachette database often include few images of the entire object and many partial photographs which, though helpful, are often limiting, particularly in communicating the true size of the object. This is a long-standing research interest and passion of mine, something which would greatly benefit my PhD but would also be relevant to my museum background and my professional life at the moment. I'm currently digitising part of the Eaton Myers collection held at the university, and this process has further demonstrated how important it is to not rely solely on photographs. This online entry for a Shabti figure from our collection provides a partial image. However, further inspection of the object from alternate angles provides us with a different impression, and thus photographs, or a lack of them, can fail to communicate distinct features or provide accurate reflections of the entire object. Studying the objects in person at Cairo will certainly resolve this and allow for those with minimal or no images currently available to be included in my research. Being able to complement this with visiting Karnak, the site of their original context, will allow for essential consideration of the ritual landscape, a very important aspect which I learned during a recent excavation at Kubet El Hawa. And I'm very passionate about promoting Egyptology more widely, particularly for Scottish students who, like me, were unable to study Egyptology at a degree level in Scotland. I'm very grateful to the EES for the many, many resources that they have, for the events that they continue to run, and for their consideration for this award. Thank you.